Galloway's support through sight loss. Galloway's wants to say a big thank you to its fantastic trustees as part of Trustees Week. Here are some examples of what they have been doing to support us. Here I am, ready to set off on my eight mile challenge for Galloway's Sight Loss Society. Should have been walking across Morecambe Bay, but hey, I'm going to walk round Fullwood and Ingle in this beautiful dress in the rain. So, see you later. Bye. 91 year old Mavis Booth has joined her family in raising money for our services. This video shows Mavis with Simon and her grandson Arthur walking around the garden. This is all part of the Booth family's collaborative challenge of walking or running 1,000 kilometres by September the 13th. Here is our chairman, Simon Booth. There's going to be eight of us. Uh, my mum is, is 91 um, and what she does is walk around the garden. Um, then you have myself, my wife Jill, Beatrice, Grace, Harry, Tilly and Arthur. As a long-term trustee, what differences have you seen and why do we need to adapt? The, the whole sight loss world has changed somewhat and whereas at one time you were considered elderly at 60, elderly-ish, um, now it, it, it's not, it's not 60 to 80 year olds. They, they're looking at different things. But I do think there is a big gap at the moment and extra support is needed for the 60 to 80 year olds who probably have had perfect sight until that age and now are really struggling, losing self-confidence and becoming lonely because maybe their family, maybe their family have left home and People, they feel people don't understand and they try and hide it. Nothing's better than getting around the table with like people and discussing how they can go forward. And there is a lot and lots of help. I'm way. Sunila Jane. I am one of the ophthalmology consultants at uh, Lancashire Teaching Hospitals. And I am I'm a proud trustee of Galloway's. And why is it important to reach people from diverse communities? The RNIB Trust has done some studies on this and they think that the BMA community is more prone to visual impairment. Uh, because I belong to that community, I have a little bit of insight into the way people think. And to admit to any disability, especially vision, is considered like a stigma. And uh, so people don't want to admit that they can't see or they are affected because of their vision. So you can imagine uh, people from that community wouldn't want to seek help. My name is Carl Harrison. I've been a trustee with Galloway's since February uh, 2020. And I too am sight impaired. Uh, I suffer from a condition called Stargardt's. Um, and I think it's important as an organisation um, that we are relevant in the circumstances and of course those circumstances change over time. So to be relevant I think it's perhaps a question of us trying to gain access into their world as opposed to trying to invite them into the world of Galloway's. Um, I think in particular for the younger people, people of working age, they might have a perception, whether it's misplaced or otherwise, that Galloway's is there to perhaps serve best people of the older, more mature generation, maybe not for them or their needs. So I think there's work for us in the first instance to educate and impart information to demonstrate that we are a current organisation. We are there for service users of all ages. Hi, my name is Joanna Solanke and I'm a fairly new trustee to Galloway's, having joined the board earlier this year. And how can Galloway's add value to the work 
that other organisations are delivering and seek partner relationships that would benefit visually impaired people? Yeah, well, firstly, I do think that there are these opportunities uh, for Galloways to work in this way with other organisations. Blind and partially sighted people can face barriers when trying to access services, including specialist services and universal services that actually exist to support and serve the whole community, including them. So I think Galloways can add value by partnering with those organisations uh, that exist to deliver those services so that they are truly accessible to blind and partially sighted people too. Hi, um, I'm Hannah Taylor and I joined the Board of Trustees at Galloways in January 2020. We've seen through the pandemic that we've managed to diversify our fundraising because we weren't able to carry out our usual and planned fundraising activities. We're very grateful for the support that we've received from our existing supporters, but it's also been really encouraging to see new supporters and funders engage with us. It remains an incredibly difficult time for all charities, including Galloway's, with restrictions continuing to limit what fundraising we can do. If we are to build back better, we are going to have to raise more money to support the changes. So we'll need to continue to diversify who that money comes from, and we hope that our supporter base will grow and become more reflective of the communities that we serve here in Lancashire and Sefton.